today I'll give you a tour of my apartments. Let's go. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Hi everyone, welcome to my studio apartment tour here in South Korea. Before I moved, I figured I might as well show you where I live. It is a studio, so the kitchen, living space, and bed are all in one room, but I'm pretty grateful for my space. So let's go check it out. Keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down When you first walk in the door, the door keypad will automatically lock and part of Korean culture is to take off your shoes here at the entryway even though this is a studio, I find I have a lot of storage and space. Right here is a cabinet for shoes and other things. When you first walk in next to the mirror, there is this cabinet, which I keep a lot of my shoes, umbrellas, cleaning products. And if I'm going camping or if I'm going on a trip somewhere, I have some of my bags and personal items. And this light turns off. It's motion sensored. And next to the cabinet is my microwave and my other stuff. I have my washer, a microwave. This thing pulls out and I can hang my laundry on there to dry, but I don't usually do that. Then I have a microwave, which I don't really use, and I have some extra bags and my laundry detergent. Next to the washer, I have my kitchen. In this cabinet right here, I kind of hide a lot of my my rice cooker, my toaster, my blender machine, which I bought from no brand, and my hot water heater, which I love using. It heats up the water in maybe two or three minutes. And I have an extension cord here. I kind of just hide everything there. Down here, I have a drawer that has the important Naju bags. On top of these is my stove top. It is a magic. And on top of my stove top here, I have this air ventilator and light and i have a lot of extra shelves up here but i don't actually use them very often and here are my cups and plates then i have my sink here with a drying rack which is very nice that it's kind of just like built in there i think that this is too small for me to really wash any dishes I keep my garbage underneath the sink here and some cleaning products. These things in the corner are used to prevent any bugs from living inside here. In this secret one right here, I have a lot of ramen. My favorite ramen is definitely this. So that's a cool spot. My favorite thing to cook is definitely foods that I always have. I always have yogurt in my freezer so I can make some smoothies. I have emergency ice cream. I have toast. I really like to cook this. It is a mixed rice with some vegetables. It's really, really easy for me to fry. I always have some mandu and I love to eat them. This came in a two pack, so I like to eat those. I have some chicken, some vegetables that I would normally eat at home, and some of the seafood snacks. So these are like my essential foods that I always have to have in my freezer. Down here, I have another loaf of bread. I have not been in the mood for bread, but I have it just in case. These are my favorite mandu of all time. They are spicy, mayun. Um, I like to fry them. I also have some shrimp and if I'm feeling fancy and some small donkas. Breaded pork. Down here I have some strawberries for smoothies, uh, ice rack, and more toast. Usually down here I put a plastic bag that I will freeze any banana peels or any food waste because it makes it so it doesn't smell. And my fridge is up here. It's not really very impressive right now. I really wish that the fridge was magnetic, that way I can hang some magnets or a to-do list, but I can't. Next to the kitchen is my wardrobe area. 
my TV, and the window, and my keyboard. One thing I really like about my apartment is the amount of light that comes in through the window. It's super nice because I am able to come home from work and still do some things in my apartment without it being too dark. So when I came to Korea, I only brought two suitcases. All of the clothing here is most of it, it has been brought from the US. Again, back to being very simple, I know I have to move sometimes, so I only have maybe 10 or 15 or 20 hangers. And over here, I have my TV console area. In this drawer, I have a lot of socks and underwear and bathing suits. And in this drawer, I have a lot of workout or going to sleep clothing. But you don't need to see that. Over here, I have a lot of Korean books that I will eventually keep studying. And I have some extra blankets, a tapestry, and a shirt that I got when I went to Thailand. Over here in the corner is a piece of art that I really wanted to buy. So I bought this from the Insadong neighborhood in Seoul. I think I bought it for 20,000 won, so I thought that was a good price. In here, I kinda am hiding my iron in case I need to flatten my clothing, my bike, air pumper, my winter jacket, pillow, my suitcases are in here, and down here I just have extra dresses, some extra pants that I probably would never wear to work and only in the summer. And over here, I have my fan, my nightstand. The fan I have to always use with my drying rack when I'm doing my laundry. And inside this door is the heater and the air system that goes directly to my room. But I keep it blocked off because I don't ever need to go in there. And here is my bed. I brought this comforter from the US because I like that it's really, really big and I really like the material. It's kind of like shiny. So it feels really cool in the summer and in the winter it feels really warm. And then I have some outlets for plugging in my phone. Over here I have my keyboard. And next to the keyboard is my desk area where I try to do all of my work. Then I also have a lot of the temperature for the water, the ondel, and the room, the lights, and I also have the outdoor intercom right here. This area is kind of messy, but I have notebooks that I'll write random thoughts or to-do lists, and some of my equipment. My apartment does not have a Wi-Fi router, so I literally bought this from the store to plug in. Then I also have some things I want to be working on. This corner is kind of my inspirational or working corner. Just some photos from my birthday or from friends. One of my friends and I went to Namsan Tower. Up here I have a lot of my Korean studying books, some makeup and some books. Then over here are some pictures of my family, some makeup, jewelry. I try to keep my desk pretty clean because of the sunlight that it gets pretty dusty pretty fast. And up here I have some snacks, face masks. And on top of here is some food that I might cook sometimes, like curry, pasta, rice, brownies. The last part of this video is the bathroom. Before moving to South Korea, I read a lot about the wet style bathroom, but thankfully my shower is separated from the rest of the bathroom, though there's no window in here, so I still need to be careful of ventilation. I also really like that behind the mirror, there's a lot of storage. And it's kind of cool I have a bidet in this bathroom. That concludes my studio apartment tour here in South Korea. Thanks for watching.
Welcome to my crib. Thanks for watching.